Hey guys, welcome back. Super, super excited about this video because we are going plant shopping, but we are also going thrifting. Now, the last time I did a thrifting video, I found so many amazing pots and planters. I mean, and I have used almost all of them already. So I'm here first at Oakdale Greenhouse because I was looking online and it looks like they might have a pink minx begonia. Now, if it's not a pink minx, it looks pretty close. Maybe it's some other variety that's similar. So I have my fingers crossed that they have that still in stock. To be honest, they have so many other amazing tropical plants. I have been dying to come back and check it out. Um, the last time I was here, I had an awesome, awesome haul. So we're gonna see what they have in stock today. And then after we were going thrifting, like I said, the last time I found really, really great stuff. I mean, $1.99 planters. So I am looking for lots of things. I need plant stands, I need planters. I mean, all sorts of planty things. And I have to say thrifting is the best deal ever. And for those of you that don't know me, welcome. Clearly this channel is for crazy plant people. So if that brings a smile to your face, and you are a crazy plant person like the rest of us in this community, please make sure you subscribe. That way you never miss a video and it will show up in your newsfeed. Also, if you like my channel, you will love my Instagram because I post on there every single day. We have an amazing sponsor helping towards our budget today. Again, I only share sponsors and brands that I use and love. Many of them I've reached out to personally to see if they would like to sponsor videos for our plant community. Today's sponsor is Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community and they have thousands of classes that cover all types of skills. It's such an amazing resource to explore more for existing passions like plant classes or new creative skills. It's a great place to fuel your curiosity because you can look up any kind of skill you're interested in learning more about. Now, there are so many classes that I have found and love. We recently moved to a new home and I'm interested in exploring more about interior decorating. I learned so much from Style Your Space, creative tips and techniques for interior your design by Emily Henderson. I really like that I can choose which section of the class I want to learn more about. Her tips about developing your style confidence, shopping for vintage finds, and styling a space were incredibly helpful. I also love the classes about houseplants and plant care, of course. Skillshare is actually very affordable and they are always launching new ad-free classes. A premium membership is less than $10 a month with an annual subscription. So because Skillshare is sponsoring this video, the first 1,000 of my subscribers to click the link in the description will get a free trial of premium membership. So you can explore your creativity and choose any class that you want to check out. So big shout out and thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Their support is invaluable in enabling me to provide content for you guys. I am dying to go into Oaktail, see what they have for houseplants. So let's Let's go check it out. All right, they never disappoint. Clearly an amazing selection of houseplants. First, I wanna go and check out the begonias and see if they have the one that I'm here looking for. So here I am in their begonia section. Lots and lots of beautiful ones. These do really well in North Carolina. Um, I have had some good success with them. So this one looks like it is a ruby slipper begonia look how gorgeous those leaves are oh my goodness the size of this one stunning and this one is 15 dollars. that is a good price on that so they have some of these cute little peperomia quad quadrilaris they look like really big string of turtles almost um they ha always have a good assortment. So Frosty Begonia, Begonia Linda Dawn, Begonia Torch Pink, and the prices here are just unreal. Um, I love this spot, Begonia Tumbler. Okay, so this is where I thought I saw the one that looked like Pink Minx. Hmm, I don't know if that's it. It's supposed to be a bit more, like more pink than that. Jolly Silver. Okay, it's still really cute though for $8.95. Hmm, that's a maybe actually on that. Look at this one. Just a, a Rex Begonia. They have a nice escargot here. Um, this one's really pretty as well. Maybe I'll just do a Begonia haul today. And like, I've all these ones that I keep eyeing, like that is amazing. Ooh, those are cool. They have Iron Cross. I have been wanting to get an Iron Cross Begonia forever. 
And these are looking exceptionally healthy and lush. $7.95 for this. Oh my word. Ugh. Look at the fuzzy pink stems on this Begonia Iron Cross and just the texture of those leaves along with the color. So, so beautiful. Look at that one as well. Okay, well, there are some more of the frosty ones. They have a bunch of really cute, um, they're like miniature Fetonias for $5.95. Look how tiny they are. I mean, compared to the regular size, these little leaves are so, so tiny. They have a lot of Pilea aluminum plants, some watermelon peperomias for $10 leopard lilies i love 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 how these leaves look just like leopard print amazing peperomia piccolo <laughs> look at those pink stems unreal some really really cute variegated tradescantia Ooh, they have some nice sized goldfish plants here for $11.95. Lots and lots of Tradescantia. Look, they have these Nanooks here for $8.95. Oh, some really cute watermelon peps up there. Oh, look at this one, Tradescantia white zebra. It looks just like the Nanook, but it's not purple. Oh my gosh, look at these tiny little baby ones. They have a couple variegated lipstick plants. And what is this one? Lipstick Rasta. Oh, I haven't seen that one before. Oh my gosh, look, they have variegated peppermint. <gasps> Can you believe that? I've never seen variegated peppermint before. Is that a thing? I love it. Should I take a variegated peppermint home with me? <gasps> That's so, so cool. How fun. Lots of other little herbs. Some regular non-variegated peppermint. <laughs> and then coming into all their... Uh, pep they always have a nice assortment of peperomias. This one's Cubensis for $5.95. Orba variegata, pixie peperomia back there. Oh, look at these beautiful oxalis for $6.95. We have peperomia frost, shumi red. Mmm, so pretty. Napoli nights over there. Looks very similar to a peperomia frost. Rosso. Peperomia, Little Tuscany. They always have like such a great assortment of peperomias here. Some polka dots, some Fetonia. Wow, look at the blooms on this. Peperomia Jelly, Piccolo Banda, Ripple, Obtusifolia Variegata. Some more Tradescantia, some spider plants, variegated ivy. Always so many beautiful plants. Some nice sized coffee plants for $6.95, some staghorn. Some ficus golden gem. Looks like ficus altisma, but it might might be a different, different kind. Syngonium, Diffenbachia. Ah, button fern. That plumosa is so beautiful. They have some of these blue star ferns that I always kind of gaze and admire.
They have these white velvet ones. I've never seen them before. Look how fuzzy they are. So cute. They have a few of them. Loads and loads of such cute little succulents. Oh my goodness. They do have um, a lot of Buddha's temple available, which they're so hard to find for $7.95. I got myself two of these the last time I was here because look how cute those are. It's such a neat succulent. They are slow growers. Um, they're adorable. Some cute little ogre ear succulents here. That's fun. You don't hear them talked about very often, but I think they're really neat. These are only $3.95. Some little burrow's tail, adorable. Guys, they have Hoya Australis here, $40 for these absolutely massive, massive plants. They are what, like six inch pots at least? Tons and tons of new growth. They have a lot of them here, so um i'd say come on out and get one a lot of people have commented on what a great deal that was when i got mine from here and i agree so they have them here beautiful hoya super super easy care we have some hoya crimson queen here for 24 smaller ones for 19. hindu ropes for 19. they have bilabata they also have wyetii this is a good spot if you're looking for some Hoyas. Hoya Rubra for 21. Got some Hoya Carnosa. Hoya Retusa over there. Loads of these beautiful Australis. I have never seen anywhere in Charlotte carry these, um, especially for $40. Love it. And Hoya blooms are the best. I'm, I'm looking forward to hopefully some of mine blooming this year. They do have some um, Hoya carrii here. They even have some variegated ones for $11.95. Even though these only stay one leaf, I still think they're really, really cute. Some cute Ripsalis and some string of pearls here for $9.95. They always have a nice assortment of small cacti and succulents. Look, this is a variegated Apuntia for $7.95. It's always fun to kind of look through and see what you can find. Narrow leaf agave. That's kind of unique. I haven't seen that before for $11.95. Oh my goodness, look at this beautiful one for $24.95. Look at those blooms. Oh, so, so stunning. All right, so now I'm in their main area for tropicals. This is the first greenhouse, um, and they always have a wonderful, wonderful soil. Look at these beautifully mounted staghorn ferns. They are 40. Um, look how happy and healthy they look. So pretty. I love what they have them mounted on. It looks so nice. They have a couple types of banana plants for $14.95. Lots of Adansonii here.
have a ginger here, golden ginger for $16.95. Beautiful leaves. Wow. Stunning. Then we have Raphidophora tetraspermis here for $21.95. Philodendron cellum. Look at those leaves. Oh, so, so beautiful. Really beautiful Marble Queen pothos. So, so pretty. Some more philodendron. There are a lot of gorgeous peace lilies here as well, like nice size ones. They have one peace lily sensation still available, a big one for $39.95. And look at these pothos, oh my goodness. So, so massive, gorgeous leaves. Here we have a philodendron monstera. $27.95. Nice size, healthy looking plants. Wow, look at these. Oh, wow. <laughs> I love these. They're so, I only ever see them here. They're called tractor seats. Um, the leaves are massive. It's really very beautiful. Um, 27, or sorry, $29.95. Looks like this one is about to bloom. I'd be so curious to see what those blooms look like. But I think the real uh, winner here are these size leaves and the shape of them is amazing. Have some gorgeous red philodendrons. First we have Imperial Red here for $24.95. Looks like an eight inch pot. Wow, look at this Macaulay Finale, or sorry, Philodendron Macaulay for $34.95 in an eight inch pot. That is a steal. Some more really large size Imperial Reds for $34.95. Then we have some rubber trees. $29.95 Burgundy, uh, Ficus Altisma for $29.95, and then Ficus Ruby as well as Teneke over here for $29.95. I always think these are really interesting. They're called fishtail palms, um, and the reason they're called fishtail palms is because their leaves look like a fishtail. And this is a nice size one for $29.95. All sorts of beautiful pothos. Pothos Neon, $6.95. Some more Marble Queens. Um, yeah, these are all $6.95. Golden. Silver Satin. Pictus. $11.95. Pearls and Jade. They do have a Silvery Anne as well. Some more Marble Queen. Here's the Hawaiian Pothos. These are the ones that really, really get the large, large leaves. <laughs> they have these Calathea Lustrous. This is the only place I've ever seen them. Um, it looks like a Calathea Medallion, but the leaves are just shaped bigger and longer. Um, they have them here for $34.95. Just a couple of them left. This Dromanthe is beautiful. Sanguina. $44.95. The size of these leaves, just totally, totally massive. Has that beautiful purple on the backside. Stunning plant. Let's take a look and see what they have over here. Lots of beautiful Calatheas. Here we have White Star, Maranta Green, $8.95. The White Star is $11.95. Look at those pink leaves. Stunning. This is the velvet one that you, it doesn't look like it, but to touch it, it feels like pure, pure velvet. Maui Queen. I love how they label their plants here because um, it just really helps out, you know, what you're looking at. Medallion Pink. Lancifolia. They do have some Zebrina, nice size one over there. Some crocodile ferns, $14.95. CZ's. Rapsis Palm, 
have a bunch of stag horns and I like it because they have two different kinds. They have this kind and then they also have French silver stag horn for $16.95. I'd greatly appreciate their labeling here. Beautiful philodendrons, moonlight $16.95. Some more imperial red, imperial green. Red emeralds over here for $21.95. Look at those red stems. They have the Alocasia Black Velvet and the Maharani's. $24.95. There's a nice size blue star up there. $24.95. Lipstick Plant Columnia Herta. It's a different type that I haven't seen before. have some squid plant alocasia the flying squid for $19.95 and they have some string of turtles here four inch pot for $24.95 oh it's so cute looking I don't have one of these I've been holding out in the hopes I find one at Lowe's or Home Depot eventually look how cute that is hmm oh, this one looks nice as well Adorbs. I just finished at Oakdale and I have to say my haul today is mwah, chef's kiss amazing. I got four plants, so I can't wait to share what plants I got with you guys. But now I'm here at Goodwill. The last time I went thrifting, I walked away with a massive, massive haul, amazing planters. So I'm keeping my fingers crossed. Um, so yeah, let's go into Goodwill and see what they have. I'm always surprised at like the stuff I can find here. This is so cute and it's only a dollar ninety-nine. Isn't that adorable? That one's cute as well. Oh my gosh, this little saxophone player guy's adorable as well. <gasps> Some little watermelons. Oh my gosh, should I use oh my gosh, I think I have to get one of these and use it as a planter. It is a planter. That is so cute. Uh, yes. Into the basket. Hmm, lots of cute little planters and stuff here. Let's see. This one's nice. It's just a simple white one for $1.99. I love it here because like most of their stuff is $1.99 for planters. Kind of a glam looking one. This one's $2.99. This one's simple one for $1.99. Hmm. That's kind of cool. 
They have some little baby ones here. Like, these are a good 49 cents. There's this one. And any of these, you could just spray paint them if you don't like the color. Some more stuff down here. This picture's nice. For $1.99. Loads of cute glassware that you could use for propagations. Um, let's see what we can find. These are all, this one's only 99 cents. Trying to find something for propagations here. Hmm, you could use this one. That'd be cute with like string of hearts coming out. Oh, this one's nice. For $1.99. Now a lot of them like technically would be a candle holder, but they could easily double as a nice plant pot. I like the color of this one. Oh, look at this. That's pretty cool. <gasps> Whoops. Don't break it. You know what I could do with this one is flip it over and use it as a plant stand. How awesome looking is that? Okay, that one's coming too. Oh, look. It has pretty flowers all over it. It's cheerful. What does this say on the bottom? Dark 95. That's a pretty piece of pottery. Maybe I'll take this one home with me as well. Wow, they have a whole punch set here. <laughs> Sorry, getting distracted. Okay, let's see what else we can find. They always have a great assortment of like wicker baskets and stuff. I don't know why, but I'm feeling this vase. I just love the red paint all over it. It's really neat. Hmm. I don't know. That's an. That's a maybe. Let's see what we can find over here. Hmm. Oh, this is cute. I like this little cup for propagations. It's heavy. $2.99. That's so cute. Okay, yeah. Maybe. Let's see if there's anything else down here. This is mostly just pots and pans. But I like this. Whoop. Spotted a watering can. <laughs> Ashley put the watering can down. It's so cute though. All right. Let's keep looking. This little wicker basket's cute. Hmm. There's a planter over here. 99 cents? Yes, please. Got some Christmas stuff. Sometimes you can find things in the Christmas section that would be perfect, like a double for a planter. I didn't see anything. 
wicker baskets. Hmm. Lots of picture frames. This is cute. Isn't that cute? Have some cute little clocks. I like this little guy. Different. Kind of retro looking. Lots of picture frames and stuff. I don't see any plant shelves. Although I do like this mirror. I just spotted this. And I think this would be a nice plant stand. I'll just turn it over like that. Would that work? Yeah, I'm gonna grab this. Lots of glasses, plates. If I can find anything. Mm, these are nice. I have a thing for glasses. <sighs> I love, 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 love glassware so much. Like these are really pretty. I also like these. That has a bunch of them. Maybe I'll get this one from. I really don't need any more glassware, but I love it so much. Oh, this is cute. $2.99? Yes, you're coming home with me. Hmm, Let's see what else we can find if there is anything. That's actually really cute. I love the design of the doors with a little TLC. That could be really, really cute. Wow, look at this claw. That is legit. $50. I don't know why, but I feel like that's a good deal for that clock. <laughs> this bright orange trunk. It's kind of neat. Foot locker. Foot lockers. $19.99. Looks like there's a little wicker basket hiding under there. This chair is actually really cute if you took off that skirt at the bottom. Nice. Hmm. No, I don't think anything else will work as a plant stand. Okay, I'm back to this area. I think I do like this one. It's a bit tall, but I could put something in the bottom and have a plant on top. So I think I like this one. And, hmm, is there anything over here I like? All right, so I'm back. It is time for the plant haul and thrift haul portion of this video. I'm so excited to show you guys what I found. I am in love with absolutely everything and there is a lot to show you. So first off, I'm going to start with the stuff that I got from Oakdale Greenhouse. Now, today was what I wanna call Begonia Madness Day. So lately when I've been plant shopping, I've been looking at the begonias, looking at the begonias. Today, I finally went for it and got some of these beautiful begonias that I've been looking at. So this was the first one that I originally went to Oakdale Greenhouse to get. How flippin' beautiful is this begonia? It says it is called a begonia jolly silver. It was $8.95 and I am just like in love with this one. I think I'm gonna put it in a um, maybe a pink pot or something like that. I just love the way, first of all, the shape of these leaves are stunning. It has so, so much silver dotted like all, all over it. It's so, so pretty. I'm also super in love with the red backside of these leaves. Uh, I originally thought it was a pink mix, um, but to me, it looks like pretty close. And with the red backs, it makes it look pink, especially in the light. I'm really, really glad I got this one. I'm absolutely in love. And most of these types of begonias seem to do really well for me, especially in North Carolina. Um, I don't know, I seem to have good luck with these, which I can definitely not say that about all plants. I have three more plants to go before I get into the thrift portion of my video. So let me know which ones you guys would have picked if you would have been plant shopping with me today. 
Dun, dun, dun. How beautiful, beautiful, beautiful is this Rex Begonia? It is called a Ruby Slippers, and I don't know if the camera is going to do it justice, but it is so gorgeous. It's literally like unicorn colors. It has a purple and a pink and a tealness to it. Um, it's iridescent. So it does have a shimmer quality to it. Let me just show you the back sides of these leaves. Look at that. The backside is almost even as beautiful as the front. It just has those the beautiful red veining. The stems are fuzzy, which always like wins it for me. Um, and as you can see on some of these newer leaves, like look how beautiful these colors are. When I saw this one, it was the last one there, and I was like, oh my gosh, I have to have to get it. It's a great size. Um, so I'm really excited to let this one kind of go for it and, and, and burst out with some new growth with summer coming around the corner. I think I'm gonna do like a begonia corner somewhere in my house. Um, I think that would be a lot of fun to have something like that. All right, next up is one that I've wanted for a long time. It is a begonia iron cross. And I keep almost getting this one and then something else catches my eye. And today I was like, no, I'm definitely getting it today. It was $7.95 in really, really great shape. A good size begonia. Um, there's so much to appreciate about this one. First of all, obviously, is the beautiful bubbly um, texturedness of this leaf. It's so cute and kind of spiky absolutely awesome and as you can see like on this leaf there the little um the leaves themselves are very fuzzy and the fuzz is red so it makes like this pinkish hue over the tops of the leaves it's it's just such a cool begonia i can't get over it it has the beautiful um fuzzy stems like the other one does uh, like my ruby slippers does, I I have to say this one is, um, I have to say I'm really, really excited to finally have one of these. I, I just couldn't say no today. And there's so much new growth happening on this one. It's it's absolutely unbelievable. And for $7.95, cannot beat it. All right, I have one more to go. Okay, begonia number four. This one's $8.95. I do not know what this one is called. So if you know, please, please leave it in the comments below. I had to get it. Look at these leaves. I am in love with the sh like kind of lightning bolt shape on both sides and then the fact that it has this gorgeous gorgeous silver all on the outside and then just the stunning dark dark almost purpley color on the inside i love it so much i just think it's it's one of those plants that every time i'm out and i see something like this i can't stop looking at it and i've seen the other rex begonia that look like this but i haven't seen the ones that have like such sharp jaggedy kind of arrow shaped leaves which i really like that about this one i find it's very unique the back sides of the leaves again are really really beautiful too so we're gonna have to find a little corner for these oh let me show you how much it's shimmering i wonder if the camera will pick up on it's very confused. Like, it, does it show how shimmery it is? What a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful begonia. All right, so now we're jumping into the thrift haul. I'm never disappointed when I go thrifting. I always forget about how awesome it is, and then I go and it's just next level amazing. Okay, so let's get started. First up is this guy. I just think it's really cool. I'm gonna flip it over and put a plant on top. I think that would look really cool. It's an absolutely stellar plant stand, $1.99. Can you believe that? Absolutely incredible. All right, so there's so many things that I need to show you, so we're just gonna like go through one after another. This is another one that I got. It was $2.99. This is perfect, perfect, perfect for propagations. Next up, I found these two little guys. They were only 49 cents each. They are perfect little cash pots for some of these little maybe t tiny cacti or succulents that I have. And I love that they're a neutral gray color. They're not matchy matchy, yet they go together. Um, I think these were an awesome, awesome find. Really exciting. This was one of my absolute favorite finds from this trip and it is this watermelon planter. It's literally made to be a planter. It has a drain drainage hole in the bottom. It doesn't get any cuter than that. It has the little rind, it has the seeds in it. It was $2.99 worth every single penny. You guys know I like weird stuff, so this is, I just was really, really excited to find this. I'm trying to think what plant would look good in here. 
I have to think of it. If you have any suggestions of plants you know that I have that you think would look look good in here, let me know. What about my watermelon peperomia? I'll put my watermelon peperomia in here. That would be perfect. Next up is this super cool piece of pottery. I think this is a custom made piece of pottery. Um, the drainage hole is larger than usual. It says dark on the bottom with 95 on the side. So made in 1995. Um, it's really well done. I just think that that's one of the things I love about thrifting that I didn't realize was you can find really nice pieces um, of, of pottery and ceramics that, I mean, something like this in an actual art store would cost what, like 50 bucks. So this was $2.99 absolutely beautiful i love how well made it is um, i'll definitely be putting some of my putting a plant in here because it's absolutely beautiful next up was this one it's just a standard neutral pot it was only 99 cents which is such a such a steal it does have a little bit of detail on it which i liked um, but for the most part it's a very simple cash pot that you know maybe it came from lowe's or home depot had another plant in it i'm not sure but you know it'll go anywhere and to be able to find them as I'm thrifting or finding planters on sale or clearance is very exciting. So this one for 99 cents I thought was a great find. The next one I have to show you guys, can you believe this beautiful, beautiful wicker basket? $3.99, it is such a steal. I'm gonna use it as a plant shelf. I'm just gonna flip it over like this. Um, it's a nice size. It looks small with, you know, in the video, but it's perfect, perfect plant stand. Like how cool is that? I thought this one was really cute for $1.99. It is a candle holder, but you know, I could put a plant in there. It looks really cool. And then this comes out if I want it to. And it looks like that. So it's the kind of thing it would go anywhere and it'll just really elevate the look of the plant. So just love that. So of course I also had to look in the clothing section um, and I won't show you guys all the stuff I got. Look at this adorable cactus t-shirt I found. Some of the cactus are embellished with little beads. I am obsessed, it's so cute. I can't wait to wear it around. It's from Ann Taylor Loft. So, I mean, that's a good find for what, a couple dollars from, from Goodwill. So I'll definitely be rocking my cactus shirt. Not plant related, but I did get some nice wine glasses. Anyone else have British moms out there where you have to have sherry and cups of tea ready at all times? It's hard to choose a favorite. I'm in love with all my begonias from today. Oh my goodness, I can't stop looking at their beautiful leaves. And I have to say there's some killer finds um, today from thrifting. These are some of my all-time favorite videos to make. And uh, if you enjoy them, please subscribe. That way you never miss a video. And if you enjoy my channel, you will love my Instagram because I post on there pretty much daily. I have a lot of exciting videos coming up. A lot of nurseries are gonna be getting exciting restocks coming in. I have some more budget videos I'm gonna be doing so definitely subscribe just a reminder that the first thousand subscribers to click the link in the description below will get a free trial of premium membership so you can explore your creativity through skillshare's online learning community where they have thousands of classes that cover all types of skills don't forget to leave a comment on which plant you would have chosen today or just anything in general i always love to see your feedback i hope you have a fantastic rest of the day you will definitely be seeing me soon bye